pull up to win is back at Tim Hortons. Get rolling on the Tim's app for a chance to win. <laughs> We're live. Hello. Hello, Toronto. A mysterious yet pleasant morning mm -hmm. here in the city. I uh, hope you're having a good morning, Canada. Don, Fiza, Sid here with you on this uh, St. Patrick's Day Eve edition. A breakfast television. So a few days ago, was it, uh, it was two days ago, right? Pretty much every single day. Every single day. Mm -hmm. Fiza and I fight about movies a lot. And I haven't seen every movie, and she hasn't seen every movie, but we believe we are movie savants and know everything. Which leads to arguments, okay? Which leads to a lot of arguments. So, we decided to have at it here in front of all of you. And we're gonna, we have our top five movies of all time list. Don Chubay has, against her better judgment, <laughs> agreed to be a part of this. Sorry, Don. This, sorry, Don. I'm, get, I'm getting pulled in. This is going to be, yes. there's going to be some, some comments on, online. So, Faisal go first. This is, now, I, we didn't ask for honorable mentions. Faisal sent like nine. I'm extra. Um, but Faisal's top five movies of all time go like this. Number one, Coming to America. Coming to America. In the history of cinema. Yes, the Your best number movie. one movie of all time is Coming to America. 100%. What is it about Coming to America that you love so much? Everything. Every time I meet someone who hasn't watched Coming to America, I wish I was them. I wish I was you. So I could experience watching Coming to America. And I watch it pretty much once a week, a lot of times. How did you feel about the sequel? I, I loved it. It was better than I thought that it would be. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, that's the only review of that movie I've heard like that. But we'll go back to the list. So come to America 1, Sleepless in, oh, a classic. Sleepless in Seattle Let me know is if you your want second lines. greatest movie of Let all. me know if you want lines. Yep. Give me three. Oh, but can I tell you, Sleepless in Seattle, the best part about this movie is the fact that the saddest part happens in the beginning and then it's uphill from there on. It's a reverse sad story. Yeah. They hit you right away and then move up. Yeah. Uh, waiting to Exhale 3. Co 732? 732? I had to do that, sorry. Coco. <laughs> Coco. Hopefully everyone who's seen Way to Excel understands that Mama line. Coco. Coco 4 and Calo No, you got it. Uh, oh. How did I say it? Calo Naho. It's, it's, it's a Bollywood movie. <laughs> it's, yeah. um, I have to say it that way. You're, can I try? Yeah. Calo Naho. A little bit off. That's okay, I'm little trying. Little That's not bad. It's early, I'm a little pitchy. Maybe don't try. <laughs> that's kids. That's 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 the lesson here. You don't have to try. You don't have don't to try, try everything. Uh huh. Honorable mentions: Bad Boys, all, all of them. them. That's right. All of them. All of them. You listed every Bad Boys movie. Yep. Wakanda Forever. Wakanda Forever. And uh, Real Women Have Curves, which you probably never heard of. So I've heard of it. I've never seen it. The I've movie, heard of it. I mean. <laughs> so Pfizer. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> that's that's Pfizer's list. Yep. Um, Coming to America. I don't know if I so agree funny. with Coming to America. Don Chube, some thoughts on Pfizer's list. Yeah. I, I mean, I now have a list list of movies that I need to watch. Thank you, Dawn. Yeah, I take those recommendations very seriously. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Sleepless in Seattle. Sleepless in Seattle. Watch, of course. Of course. Is that a must watch? Really? Yes. Oh, no, yes. it is. Really? And I think it yes. still stands now. You know how there's movies where it's like it was really good at the time and then it doesn't really hold up? I think that one holds up. Oh, it's such a classic. Mm -hmm. I can't watch any movie with... with Tom and Meg separately. They belong together. I just watched You Got Mail twice yesterday, by the way. You watched it twice. But let's get to Don's list. In anticipation of this. <laughs> let's okay. get to Don's list. You want to go to Don? Okay. Yes. Uh, sorry, Carolyn. We're going to skip ahead. If we, if we can go to Don's, please. Whenever you're ready for oh, I'm it. I'm sorry. I didn't know. No, no, that's, that's fine. Okay. That's fine. Uh, Princess, Don, go ahead. Give Prince, us your well, five. Um, the, so the Princess Bride. All day long. Your favorite movie of well, all I, time to, is The Princess Bride. I was, like, listen, I mean, I'm not even sure if this is the order that One I want to thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> but The Princess Bride, when it's on, you have to watch it. Okay. You just have to watch Unless it. Unless you don't. <laughs> have you, you ever seen it? I've seen it, but like, I, I feel like there's this, when people see The Princess Bride, they, they light up. It's, there is a joy that comes out of them that I don't have. I thought it was a, an amusing film. It's inconceivable <laughs> that you would not. Very Good. Like that. Uh, the Godfather. Godfather is number two. Right, not right. Mad, not mad at it. There's like 800 of them. You know what? And the, the movie, the show, The Offer, on I think it's on Paramount Plus, where it okay. talks about what was involved in making that movie from the producer's standpoint. Fascinating. It made me want to watch The Godfather again. That was a good series. It was an that. excellent you know series. Who references The Godfather? You Got Mail. Oh, so Take up six the degrees. Degrees. natural progression Just from saying, one to the other. Right, right. Pretty Woman cannot uh, not watch Pretty Woman. Classic. Lots of great you moments put in that. Pretty Woman right behind the Godfather. I'm not, the listen, I wasn't sure that this was an order of whatever. <laughs> I'm not, listen, White Christmas. <laughs> 
When it is on, you watch White Christmas. That is a it's must. Good, it's a good film. Oh my good gosh. Film. Classic. Yes. Sisters. Oh. Sisters. We don't know. Don't stop. Please don't stop. No, no, no. Uh, and then, of course, ABC always be closing. Those leads are gold. You don't get those leads. <gasps> Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. Al Baldwin was pretty good. Jack Lemon. One of the great scenes ever. Al Pacino. Scene. I've Al only Pacino. watched one Pacino. movie in your Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross is But really The Princess good. Bride is on it. I'm going to watch The Princess Bride. Yes. Amazing list. All right. Your turn. Now the real list. The struggle list. <laughs> top. My top five movies, there, you cannot punch a hole in it. Oh. It is made of titanium. Oh, wait. You ready for it at home? <laughs> Number one, Goodfellas. Hmm. Number two, Shawshank. Sh not Sleepless in Seattle. Shawshank. Sh the only Shawshank Redemption yeah. reference in the segment. Come on. Yeah, come on. Get busy living or get busy trying. Is that the line? I think so. Or get busy dying. 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 Get busy living. See, I love the movie. <laughs> but try, three. try and keeps it half full. Thank you. <laughs> try and half full. Pulp Fiction has to be on the list. Has to be. Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. I will hear debate on this because there's so many different Is types of Is that the first order. one? Like, where does no, that fall the in the third one? Third, okay. When the Worst king movie. returned and it had, like, the craziest battle scenes in the entire series in it. It was I can't fantastic. Believe they made more than Thanks one. for explaining they, that that yes, was the return. <laughs> Thanks for explaining I can't believe that. What was a quote? <laughs> I can't believe they made more than one. Oh, they made more than one. And then finally, I really should have had this higher the Heath Ledger Dark Knight, the oh. Batman Heath Ledger. Is I know people that would put this top three of all time. Yeah. It was so, the performance alone was that good. It should go in the top three. So that is my list. And would I have a problem with the list? No. Yeah. I, it's very dark. Mm -hmm. It's miserable. It's dark. Where's the laughter? Where's the fun? Pulp Fiction Wait, had laughter. Pulp I don't know. Fiction had such laughter. A miserable movie. It could get a little dark too. Pulp Fiction. The Royale with cheese. Yeah, there's some other scenes in there I'm thinking about too. Yeah. Right? Just no. Not that funny. I would say the cumulative list is now, uh, you know, something to mark down and put on the on the roster. That's now when the you're new for... AMC top I, yeah. 15 films of all yeah. time. Don't, don't say that to him. You know, his head's gonna be Cisco like Cisco and Ebert, like. We, we got you. I think it's a great yeah. list. So let us know your top five at Breakfast TV because this, this conversation has gone on throughout the week. I think I won it, but you can be the judge. How did Mean Girls not make that list for all you No, generational. Hit. That's a generational. Oh, okay. Movie. Yeah, generational. Generational so movies count. Shawshank, I will agree with Shawshank. Shawshank, Shawshank has to be That's another list. whenever it's on. We're going to take a break. You sound off coming up a little later on. Uh, David Johnston is the special... What's the phrase again? Rapporteur. 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 Uh, in terms of figuring out who meddled when in the 2019 and 2021 elections in this country. How concerned are you about it? That's you sound off today. 1-866-267-3797. Those are the other ways to get a hold of us. More BT coming up.